Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and today I'm going to show you a color coordinates using some really fun colors. And these come from our Splash of Color and Color of Fun releases. So to get this started, I've cut some strips of cardstock and I like to use the Simon Says Stamp 120 cardstock. It's really nice and smooth. And then I have my ink pads. I'll be using all five of these colors for my little tags that I'll be using. And what I'll be doing is coloring my paper, and I'll just be coloring in an area enough to go ahead and die cut this little frame here, and it says thanks. So I'll just be coloring just a portion of that paper. So I have my ink blending tools here, and I have one for each of my colors, and I'm starting off with the apricot. I just tap my ink blending tool right onto the pad there a little bit, and I don't really blot off because I'll be die cutting these, and... My blending doesn't really matter that much. My goal here is really to get the color onto the paper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up and then I'll move on to my next color. Next, I am using Duckling, which is a really nice soft yellow. It's not too vibrant and it's not too flat. So once again, I'll just kind of color in the area and I'll make sure that my dye will fit within the area and I'll move on to my next color. This is Mint Candy, and it's a little bit darker than our original Mint, but it really complements it really well. So you get a nice, strong mint color. And once again, I'll go ahead and measure up my dye, make sure that I have enough room. If not, I can just go ahead and go back over and add more ink. And these inks soften up really beautifully. One of my favorite blues is the new Steel Blue. I really love this. It's almost like wearing blue jeans. So again, just coloring the strip of paper. If you noticed, I'm using my Simon Says Stamp stamping pad underneath, which works out perfectly for coloring these strips. So the next color is the Lake Shores, and this is a really, really pretty, like, seafoam green color, one of my favorites, really nice and soft, and this goes on really smoothly. It really doesn't take that long to color your papers, and then you can put all the combinations together that you want. And with some of our inks, we don't have matching cardstock, so you can just make your own. So now I have all five of my colors together, and I think these would be great for any occasion cards. So next, I want to use my die cut and cut out my words. To get the construction going on my card, I've used some embroidery thread and this is metallic silver and I've wrapped it around about four times and secured it on the inside with a knot. To put down my little word pieces, I'm just using my tape runner and I'm putting it on about three points on the back of them. And I'll be staggering these and I'll kind of weave them in and out of the thread. And the thread really acts as a nice anchor point and it kind of pulls the eye around up and down as I kind of scatter these on. By using my tape runner, I can readjust them as I want if I change my mind, which I do change my mind a lot. So here I'm placing the last one. You can see they're kind of staggered. And one of the things I want to make sure that I do is that I don't have them sitting in the same direction. So I may just kind of scoot them just a little bit so they look a little more random. When I decided how to place these down, I let the apricot and duckling kind of break up all the blues and the greens. To finish things off, I've added some of the doodle bug sprinkles and I just kind of mixed things around. I found colors as close to the colors of inks that I've used. And along with the sprinkles, I also used an ampersand to tie everything together. As a bonus to this die, you get all these little wonderful letters that are already colored. So I just glued them down onto a card in a straight line, and I mixed the colors of the letters together. I hope you've enjoyed this combination of colors for our color coordinates inspiration, and as always, thanks for watching.